Hey guys, a bit squid here and welcome to another tutorial. Now, in this video, we are going to be making our player character jump. Now, this is really simple, so we're just going to dive straight into it. So, this you don't need to follow the last tutorial, but there will be um a card in the corner if you want to see how to get the character moving. Um but if you've already got it moving or you've done that tutorial, we're just going to be carry on here. And we're going to make him jump. So in the last one, we got him moving left and right. So press right, he moves right. Left key, he moves left. You can use the A and D key as well to move. Whatever you prefer. But yeah. So let's just dash right into it. So what we need to do is we're going to add a new FSM. So we're going to add FSM new. And just like in the last one, I'm going to give this one a name, jump. So then we know what it's going to do. Because so look, now we know what both of our FSMs will do. Okay, and for this, we're just going to start with, we're going to add two states. First one, we're going to call this one uh, input. And this one will say jump. And we're going to add an event, so we'll say press that space. Now you don't have to have it as that, you can decide what button or key you're going to use to jump and just call it that. And then we're going to have uh, events and call this one um, done. You can just also use the default finish if you prefer, I've got finished, but I'll say press space. And we'll say done for now and link them together. <clears throat> now here we're gonna add a get key down and let's set this to space or whatever key uh, you want to use. You can even use joyce uh, controller buttons as well as long as you know which button matches to which one in here. Right, and then we're going to send event, we're going to send it to press space. So what that means is when we press the space bar, it's going to go to here, to our jump. And for this one, we're just going to set velocity 2D. <clears throat> and on the X, we're going to choose it to be a number, and we'll set that to say 8. And then that is done. Now if we hit play... Hit the space. Oh. Oops, of course. I don't know why I did it on the X there. Sorry. It should be the Y. Set it to zero there. And on the Y, we'll set eight. Hit space. And we'll see he jumps. Okay. And what we want to do here is then do a next frame event to finish the option, so say done. Sometimes it will work without a next frame event, but it's always good to add a next frame event. So we're gonna hit play now. And now we can jump. But we have a problem, we jump, jump, jump. It's gonna jump forever. And that's not what we want. So, what we need to do here is tell our fine our FSM here to check that we are on the ground. So, to do this, we're going to click on our ground plane here. Okay, and for this one, if you don't have a ground plane, it's just literally um, a sprite, 2D object sprites square, and I've stretched it out to cover the whole camera area, and put a 2D box collider on this. Okay, we're going to go here to where it says tag, and we're going to add a tag. And we're going to click on a plus here, and call this ground. Click back on our ground here, 
choose our tag and we're going to choose the ground tag there and we'll go back to our player to our jump okay and we're going to add a new state wait for ground and we're going to link that to here and we can say here we'll say done and link that to here and I'm going to create a new event here and we'll call this one grounded grounded and we'll put that onto there so we'll delete that transition and add grounded so to delete the transition uh, just right click on it and so you have to click on here so it's blue right click and then choose delete transition grounded to there and make sure we change that to grounded in here okay and then we want to have a, a collision 2d event we'll add that there yeah and then we're going to choose collide tag ground send event done and that now will work so if we hit play <clears throat> hit jump you see no matter how many times I hit spacebar he won't jump more than once hit the pressing while he's in the air I cannot now go any higher than that one single jump and there we have it now we have a character who can move jump and we can also have some air control as well and yeah so that is it it's really simple so just make sure we save and then that is it for this tutorial uh, thank you very much for watching in the next one we'll be doing a double jump Okay, so hopefully I'll see you in that one. Until next time, 8-Bit Squid out.